Happy Sunday, good people. It's your girl, Miss Charlotte Burley. And you know, I love to talk about our issues because we all have them. How we deal with them, that is the difference. I'm your big auntie, your favorite cousin, or your sister around the corner. Whatever works for you, it works for me. But just know that when I talk about our issues, I come at it 100% hardcore, okay? What I want to talk about is this issue with single people, okay? I'm single, so this goes for me too. I had to think about this. But over the weekend, you know, we've been out, hanging out. Maybe we were at the club or the lounge or a bar or a private party. You know, we're trying to meet somebody and, you know, we're interested in people. And then the next day, I have to hear all of these butt hurt stories, okay? When it comes to the man, here's the scenario you might hear. I don't know why she not into me. I'm a good man. I got a good job. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with me. You know, oh, she must be into pretty boys, or she must like tall men, or she might like, you know, muscle guys men, or so maybe she just wants the money. I don't understand what her problem is. That's the men. The women, I don't understand what his problem is. I'm independent. I got my own car. I ain't got no baby daddies. I mean, oh, he must be in the Beckys. Or he must like straight hair girls. Or he must like natural girls. Or he must like boobs. Or he must... Okay. This is what I'm talking about, all right? Like, I really am going to make this really easy for you to just understand that sometimes it's not shade. Yes, it's personal. I will say that. But sometimes it's not being shady. Sometimes it's just the truth. And I'm going to help you to get there, okay? I want you to go to the shade of it all with me, okay? We're going to put the shades on for this, all right? I want you to close your eyes for two seconds. Think about the very last time somebody was attracted to your ass. Mm -hmm. The last time somebody was attracted to your ass, but you was not attracted to them. Yeah, do you remember that? You might even remember being pissed off at the person for being attracted to you in the first place because you probably was like, oh, she ain't even on my level or he ain't even on my level. How dare them be attracted to me? Ugh, They ugly or they too fat or they too skinny or they too short or they too broke. Blah, blah, blah. You had your reasons, right? Whatever reasons you wasn't attracted to that person, whatever reasons you rejected that person, that was your reasons. OK, you like what you like. You want what you want. And guess what? That's your prerogative. You have every right to do that. And no one should tell you you are wrong for that. Okay? So my question to you is, you're no exception. Why do you think you're the exception to the rule? So when you like somebody and they reject you, there's a problem. How come what they want and what they like does not qualify the same way it qualifies for you? The same reason you rejected the last person may be the same reasons you're getting rejected right now. It is personal because everyone likes what they like and everyone wants what they want. And everybody should have a right to that. So stop being in your feelings. Stop getting your butt hurt. Just remember when you reject somebody, you too can be rejected. So that was the issue. That's what I wanted to talk about. It's not shade. It's just real. And this shady Sunday moment was brought to you by Heidi London. I love her shades. She's my first sponsor. So I have to give her some shout out. Go check her out. Tell her Miss Burley sent you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Miss Charlotte Burley. And you can find me here on IG at Miss Burley to you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you don't have your butt hurt feelings going on because somebody rejected you. You get to reject, sometimes you're going to be rejected. It is what it is.